And that's one bag down and 50 to go. <laughs> Hello everybody, Nikki Marr here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you've all had a fabulous week and are ready for another fun video. And this week we're doing something a little bit different because I just got home from a wonderful trip to the Walt Disney World Resort and I bought a lot of stuff. So in today's video, I just want to do a quick haul of everything I got at the Walt Disney World Resort. And I also wanted to have a little chit chat. There are some specific Disney topics that I've been wanting to talk about as of recently and really haven't had the chance to do so. So I'm going to use this video as the opportunity to do so. If you're new here, my name is Nikki Mara and I am a Disney content creator here on YouTube. I got my start over on TikTok, but have moved on over to YouTube in order to do more long form content. And I have been absolutely loving it. And while a lot of you guys absolutely love my ranking videos, I do like to throw in something different here and there, so I definitely wanted to take the opportunity to do that today. But fear not, we have another fun ranking video coming next week, and I think you guys are going to absolutely love this one. And speaking of, thank you all so much for the love on my Ranking Disney Parents video. That video did so well, and I am so excited that you guys loved it. But yes, for today, I am just going to be talking about my trip a little bit and going through all the different stuff I bought. And if you are excited for today's video, make sure to like and subscribe down below so that way you never miss magic from me. Because at this point, I am posting long-form content here on YouTube every single Friday at 5 p.m. And I have also just started back up with posting on my TikTok, so definitely follow me over there if you would like even more Disney content. And always as a disclaimer, I am not associated with the Walt Disney Company, I don't speak for the brand or the company, and any opinions I share in this video are just my own. But today, let's have some fun! Kick back, relax, grab yourself a snack and a drink, and let's get to this merchandise, because I spent a lot of money. And so I'm gonna show you guys! <laughs> Alright, what to begin with? What to begin with? Ah! Here's a good one. So yes, on this most recent Disney trip, I went with one of my best friends, Victoria, and we got to go to every single Disney park and Magic Kingdom twice. But she actually arrived one day after me, so I got an entire solo day in Disney. And so I hit up Magic Kingdom Park and absolutely had a blast zooming around and doing everything I wanted to. Granted, it was blazing hot because it was the middle of June, but still I had an absolute blast and after my Magic Kingdom day I hopped on over to Fantasmic in order to watch that because if you don't know me, Fantasmic is absolutely my favorite show on Disney property. It's actually my favorite thing to do on Disney property. And let me just tell you, this show makes me sob uncontrollably. It is so beautiful, so gorgeous, it hits every emotional touch point I need it to, and I, I love Fantasmic, and I cannot talk enough good about it. So if you are heading to the Walt Disney World, make sure to not miss Fantasmic. It is so good. And on this first day in the Magic Kingdom, I went into the Emporium on Main Street, and I saw a t-shirt that I have never seen before on Walt Disney property. There was only a very tiny rack of this t-shirt, and by the time I walked back to the front of the park later that day, the shirt was gone. So I am very happy to have gotten this. You all know I am a huge Little Mermaid fan, and so I could not go home without this Ariel and Flounder t-shirt, and at the bottom it says Walt Disney World Resort. I thought this was absolutely adorable, and I had to grab it, and I'm so glad I did because I didn't see it for the remainder of my trip. And I'm sure you guys will totally be seeing me wear this shirt in future videos. Trust me, I'm gonna live in that one for a while. <laughs> What's in this one? Oh, that's the big ticket item. There is a big ticket item, by the way, that we will be saving till the very end because I am so excited about it. What is next? Oh, I will share this with you guys. The next thing I grabbed is actually not for me. It is a gift for a friend. But regardless, it is super cute and I wanted to share it with you guys. I got the Disney Wish ears. These are the ears inspired by Disney's newest movie, Wish. They have the little star from the movie in the middle. And I think these are absolutely adorable. They were requested by a friend and so I'm going to be handing these over, but I just had to share them because I thought they were so cute. Yes, this will be going in for safekeeping. Oh, here's another good one. So, in addition to going to all of the theme parks, Victoria and I also had a day where we ended up going to Disney Springs. This was sort of like a non-park day, but still filled with Disney stuff. And at Disney Springs, I decided to finally pick up a cup that I have been looking at for so long because I think it is absolutely adorable. And if you know me, I am a cup fiend. I always have a reusable tumbler on me and most of them are Disney themed. And so I got one to add to my collection as I picked up the Disney Snacks Tumbler. It has all of the different snacks that you can pick up in the Disney parks, such as churros, pretzels, ice cream, Mickey bars, Mickey sandwiches. Mickey waffles, and the top is this cute little whipped cream sculpture that I absolutely loved. Speaking of snacks, we actually got quite a few snacks when we were down there, and I really quick wanted to share with you two of my 
favorite meals to get down there. If any of you are ever in Animal Kingdom, I highly recommend you stop over at Satuli's over in Pandora, the world of Avatar, because they have these incredible cheeseburger bao buns that are just to die for. This is easily one of my favorite meals at the Walt Disney World Resort. So if you are not vegan or vegetarian and are in fact a fan of burgers, I highly recommend checking out these bao buns. They are absolutely fantastic. I get them every single time I'm in Animal Kingdom and I get them without regrets. <laughs> oh, and the other meal that I absolutely love is over in Hollywood Studios. My mom and I actually have a tradition, which is kind of fun, which is to stop over at the ABC Commissary before they close. We pick up a meal there and package it up and bring it over to Fantasmic because we always love to arrive really, really early to get fantastic seating. And then we'll just eat there in the stands so that way the wait doesn't feel as long. But my absolute favorite thing to get at the ABC Commissary is the buffalo chicken grilled cheese. Now keep in mind, the dipping sauce is a little spicy if you do wanna try it, so I would definitely go light on it, but it is absolutely fantastic. And it would definitely be at the very top of my list for favorite meals, especially when sitting in the Hollywood Hills Amphitheater. <laughs> Ambiance always makes the food a little bit better, right? Oh, and here's something else I wanted to share with you guys. I am officially a fuel rod user. I found myself running out of battery one day at the parks, and so I picked up a fuel rod. I've been wanting to for a while, but never did it. But I did, and I absolutely love it. It charges up my phone. It is free at the Walt Disney World Resort to swap out fuel rods, and I absolutely think I'm going to be using it in the future. Now, also on our Disney Springs Day, Victoria and I decided to go to a production that was actually taking place just off of Disney property, which was a gorgeous production of Hello Dolly starring the incomparable Jodie Benson. Now, if you guys have seen my Ranking Disney Princesses video before, you will know that Jodie Benson is the voice of my favorite Disney character of all times. And yes, while Jodie Benson is very well known for voicing pretty much everybody's favorite Disney mermaid, she was an absolute standout. She was so electric in this wonderful production of Hello Dolly, as was everybody in this production. Like, there was absolutely no no weak link amongst this cast. Everybody was amazing. Steinmetz Hall at the Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts was an absolutely stunning venue. The costumes in this production were just lovely, and Jody was so wonderful and gracious to her entire cast and to her director at the curtain call, even taking time to tell us about how some of the ticket proceeds would be donated to Give Children the World. She is just absolutely such an angel on earth, and I love Jody with all of my heart. And yeah, she was just absolutely absolutely electric in this role. This is a memory that I'm absolutely going to treasure forever. And speaking of mermaids, also at Disney Springs, Victoria and I wandered into the Disney art shop. I absolutely love this store. There is always something that catches my eye, but this time when I went, it was almost impossible not to leave without two very specific and very special prints. The first of which is this gorgeous, gorgeous print of Ariel from the live action Little Mermaid, which was created by Larissa Brown. It is aptly titled Under the Sea, and it showcases Ariel swimming through all of the sea creatures that you can see in the live action Little Mermaid. And for being a former animation artist, Larissa absolutely killed it on this piece. Hallie looks so beautiful, and I could not be happier with this print. This is one that is definitely going to end up on my wall at some point. Oh, and speaking of the live action Little Mermaid, do you guys remember that when the movie was released over a year ago, it was announced that the live action Ariel would be meeting in the Disney parks, but only for a limited time engagement. Well, I am so happy to report that after this past trip, the live action Ariel is still meeting in Disney's Hollywood Studios to this day. Oh, this absolutely makes me so happy. Because in all honesty, we haven't really seen a live action character from one of Disney's live action movies make it into the theme parks. Except for this movie, which happens to rank as one of my favorites over in my ranking Disney live action movies video. I am so happy that Disney has made room for both Ariel from the animated story as well as Ariel from the live action story. It absolutely warms my heart to walk by one man's dream and still see our beautiful Ariel up on the marquee. And let's hope that she continues to meet for years to come. And the other print that I picked up was actually a gift for my mom. Both me and my mom share the absolute same favorite 
favorite Disney ride, which is the Haunted Mansion over at Magic Kingdom. And her and I absolutely love the seance room with Madame Leota. So when I saw this print, you guys know that I absolutely could not have left without it. This print is just stunning. It showcases Madame Leota in the seance room with her wonderful seance table and the chair with the crow behind her. And also some of the floating instruments, which you can see in the actual attraction. And I think what is so beautiful about this piece of art is that Madame Leota's face looks so accurate to how it does in the Haunted Mansion. Leota Toombs' face is often very difficult to capture in different pieces of art, but this one is one of the best that I have seen on Disney property. So yes, she will already have this by the time the video goes up, so there will be no spoilers for her. <laughs> and speaking of Haunted Mansion, apparently there's going to be a brand new Haunted Mansion bar on Disney's new Treasure cruise ship, so they are definitely tempting me to book a brand new Disney cruise trip in the future. Because how could I turn down an experience at a Haunted Mansion bar when it happens to be one of my favorite attractions. I also haven't cruised in a long time, which is kind of strange. And if my counts are accurate, I believe I've been lucky enough to go on five or six cruises in my lifetime. But now that I have adult money, well, <laughs> there's many more to come. Another bag down. Who's next? Oh, yes. Here's an entirely brand new topic that I definitely have to talk about. And I just have to say right off the bat, this part is not sponsored whatsoever. I just genuinely love this game and want to share it with you guys in case you are interested. But I have become a fiend for Disney Lorcana, which is a trading card game based off of Disney characters. Think of like a Pokemon-esque type game only with Disney characters on every single card. Let me tell you, it has become an absolute obsession for me. I have a collection growing and growing by the month. And this game is released in chapters, and we are currently on chapter four, which is Ursula's Return. So of course, our favorite Little Mermaid is very heavily featured on all of the merchandise. And when I was there, they happened to be selling the Illumineers Trove, which is a little storage container that you can use for all of your cards. This Illumineers Trove is super cute and actually comes with quite a decent amount of cards. Like, look. That's a pretty hefty stack to come in a little box, but it has absolutely become a fixation for me. I am obsessed with it. And actually you can download a Disney Lorcana app onto your phone so that way you can track all of the cards that you've collected over time. So just as an example, as of right now, I have collected 864 cards. Didn't think I went that ham, but okay. <laughs> And so yes, there are features to track which cards you have, but also which ones you want to add to the wish list. And I just happen to add every single card that I don't have onto my wish list, so that way I can keep track of how many I have and how many I'm missing. And so I am still searching after 492 cards, but believe you me, if there's a will, there's a way. And I have the will. <laughs> And actually a few days ago, I just ordered the Illumineers Quest called Deep Trouble, which is an entire Disney card game that allows you to play this game on your own as opposed to with other people. Because I really don't live close by to any small trading card shops that I know of at least. And so hopefully with this, I'll be able to enjoy the game on my own. So yeah, this is absolutely not sponsored, but I have just been absolutely obsessed with Disney Lorcana. And if you guys would like to know more about it, I can absolutely do a video on it in the future. Perhaps I can rank some of my favorite Disney Lorcana cards if you guys would like to see that. But I would also love to do some gameplay in the future, so let me know. Actually, just looking across my room, I have tons of Disney board games that I would also love to show you guys. I didn't purchase them on this trip, so I'm obviously not going to show you in this specific video, but I love board games. I am a huge card game fan. So yeah, definitely let me know if you guys would like to know about some of my favorite Disney games. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you one of the best parts of my trip. When I was down there, I was lucky enough to be at the Disney World Resort during the annual pass holder previews for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. On the first day of my trip, before my friend Victoria arrived, I was able to snag an annual pass holder virtual queue position for the ride and got on for the first time. And oh my gosh, you guys, this ride is so amazing. And so if you're curious as to what it's like to ride the ride, imagine the perfect combination of the storytelling of the under the sea journey of the Little Mermaid at the Magic Kingdom, the ambiance and the level of immersion of Navi River Journey, and then the 50 foot drop of Tower of Terror. Tiana's Bayou Adventure truly offers an experience that is all the best parts of these three rides pushed together. And not only was I lucky enough to snag a virtual queue spot for being an annual pass holder, 
but also on the last park day of our trip. Victoria and I met up with my friend Sam, who is a current Disney cast member, and she was lovely and gracious enough to get us on as guests for a part of her cast member preview. So Sam, big thank you to you. I am so lucky and grateful to have experienced this ride twice, and I just wanted to give a big shout out to you for all of the magic that you helped make on this trip. But with that, my friends, we have reached the last piece of merchandise that I purchased on this trip. And we can definitely call this one the e-ticket item, as she was... expensive. <laughs> but yes, this was an item that I have been looking at for the longest time. I first saw it released over on the Kate Spade website, and I absolutely fell in love with this bag. And actually back in April when I was at the Walt Disney World Resort, I saw that they were selling it at the Wilderness Lodge Resort. And while I didn't pick it up when I was there in April, it pained me so much to leave without it that I absolutely had to save up and splurge on it this time. And I know what you're thinking, stop talking, we wanna see the bag. <laughs> well, you got it. This is absolutely one of my favorite items that I have ever seen in the Walt Disney World Resort. I will be displaying it on my shelves and I'm sure you guys are going to see it in the background of videos to come. Oh, every time I look at it, I get chills. It is just so beautiful, but here it is. This is the Kate Spade Snow White Magic Mirror Handbag. It is a crossbody purse that has a reflective surface behind a beautiful picture of Snow White. And she is of course surrounded by the magic mirror. And while you can't fit a ton in here, it is absolutely a statement piece. I cannot wait to take Instagram pictures with this bag. But yes, I am absolutely going to be including her up on my shelf with all of my Snow White collectibles. Because I am not a huge fan of designer items, but this one absolutely spoke to me and I loved it so much and just had to have it. And this one was a long time in the making. I definitely had to save up for it, but I am so happy that she is finally in my possession. I can tell you right now, she's going to get used very rarely. I'm going to try to keep her in the best condition I can. But yes, I feel so lucky and privileged to be able to add a piece like this to my collection. And that just about wraps it up for my merch haul. If you guys did want to see a sneak peek into my trip, I do have a brand new post over on my Instagram account at Nikki Mara with two Y's and two R's. And it will give you a little look into the wonderful time that I had at the Walt Disney World Resort. And I am clinging on to those memories so dearly because I had such a wonderful time. And I will be riding that wave until I am lucky enough to visit again this October for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, of which I will be attending this year on October 15th, 2024. I am so unbelievably excited for this year's costume. And if you can find it, there is already a hint as to what I'm going to be over on my Instagram. But with that, we have reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. I know today was a little bit shorter of a video, but I definitely wanted to get a video out to you guys. So thank you for joining me for this fun merch haul. If you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe down below so that way you never miss magic from me. And believe you me when I say we will be back next week with a brand new ranking video. And definitely subscribe so that way you don't miss out on it. Again, thank you so much for watching. Stay magical. And until next week, I'll see y'all real soon.